Four different tailbacks. More than likely, we'll see action today for Rutgers. Laviano wants to throw, and that ball is knocked away. Paul James gets moved out of the backfield. Laviano in the backfield by himself and throws his first completion. Third down for Rutgers. Try not to go three and out. Little dump off underneath. That'll be a first down grab. Coming over. Paul James, the deep back behind the fullback. They give it to James. Barrels forward for two. James remains in the game. Second down and eight. They feed him again. This time runs into a wall. Pushes it forward across the 40. Play clock down to six. And another completion to Carew. First downs on this drive. James doesn't get the hand up. Instead, Laviano keeps it, and it doesn't fool anyone. TJ. Quick hitter. A little slant to Carew. His third catch of this drive. He just said uh, Iowa going on the road. Taken on Northwestern. And Wisconsin holding off Purdue up in Madison. Second possession. The lead with the running game. And if it's good, we're going to keep going. If it's not good, we're not going to give up on it. Second down. Is for the McDaniels getting a chance to see Ben, offense coordinator here with Rutgers. And then tomorrow, Tom McDaniel. Josh McDaniel, obviously, Bill Belichick into Indiana territory. They went backwards after crossing over midfield. First time they had the football. Play clock down to one. Lead to cause some turnovers. Brian Nor, the, the coordinator, defensive coordinator, says, you know, we used to work on script build, drills. We don't do it anymore. We just work at getting to the football. Faster team this year. More explosive team this year. Second down. This week against Rutgers. Richard Fant lined up on that same side as Leonte Carew. Completion percentage. That's the 12th pass he's broken up this year in the first six games. Just incredible. His offensive coordinator, Kevin Johns, was there as well. Of course, many years doing great things with Bob Stoops out in Norman, Oklahoma. And he looks like Paul Bunyan. Second down and 12. Third down and five. Got that rare sixth year of eligibility. Been banged up and dealt with injuries the bulk of his time as a college player. Trying to get Carew out in space, look at him run. Chris Laviano, sophomore quarterback out of Glenhead, New York. He's a long... Deontay Carew, bottom of your screen. Janarian Grant in the slot. That fast and make a tackle for that short a gain, you got to think about doing some passing or the wide receiver's got to crack on him. Empty backfield. Laviano by himself. He splits Goodwin, the third down back. Expectations are high for the Hoosiers this basketball season. Thank you, Jeremiah. Glenn Mason, I know you're a big hoop guy. James Blackman kids. Chris Laviano completes 70% of his passes. Martin. Thank you, Rick. We still have more than eight minutes remaining in our first half. Both Rutgers and Indiana have burned two timeouts here in the first 22 minutes. 11 for 17 with a touchdown pass to Volante Carruth. Rutgers has played two conference games. They lost at Penn State. Last week at home, they battled Michigan State to the wire and came up a touchdown short. See what they do this time. Number 34 more passes. He's thrown for over 300 yards. Just incredible. I'm assuming if he throws for 600 yards, that'd be some kind of record. Leontay Carew is in the slot. He's been relatively quiet over the last couple of possessions. Richard Fant is going to be credited with breaking up that pass. How many times have you heard me say that when a quarterback throws...
before the game, and he said the main thing is to button up our defense on the year as the defensive coordinator. He's been happy with the effort, particularly of his defensive line this year. Nick Mangieri, Zach Shaw have been... Good job by the receiver. Make sure he gets enough yardage for first down and stop the clock while they move the chains. Closing in on the one-minute mark. Rutgers with difficulty with a two-minute drill last week at home against Michigan State. Lost track of the stop temporarily. Second down and two on a play in the red zone. All of their touchdowns have been of the long distance variety. Or they have now. Can Rutgers counter what just happened to them by Indiana? Hicks goes in motion. Offside. Defense, number 56. Five-yard penalty, repeat. Second down. And if you go against Penn State, two sacks two weeks ago against Ohio State. Latham, a junior out of Indianapolis. He's been rock solid all here and we will see what's going on in his life in just a moment only seven yards this quarter for Rutgers we saw a highlight of your 307 yard performance against Rutgers last season what do you remember about that game I mean I just remember they, they... Kevin Wilson has made a point out of recruiting Chicago hard and he got Kevin Coleman to commit out of Chicago first down you, you have enough confidence in that line that if you don't get it you come back with something basic and pick up the first play you hit a big play and then hopefully play some better defense play action and if it was ever a time when when they need to mount some effort here. Rutgers is right now. Well, does Rutgers need to change their urgency or their pace? Six minutes remaining in the third quarter. You know, I think they do because that... And they're facing third down and long here. It's third down and nine. Rutgers has got to snap that ball and block a 300 pounder. You just got to hold on to that ball. Derek Nelson is the center of Capitol Heights, Maryland. Six catches, 114 yards here against Indiana. Oh, program in the history of college football has played more football games than Rutgers. This is their 1,307th all time game. That's for cows. <laughs> I hope my mom wasn't listening. My goodness. Second down and nine. It is a wonderful time to be in New Jersey coming into the Big Ten. It has changed things dramatically. I know that being a Midwestern and having an opportunity to experience the East Coast, kind of a cool. Everybody be wearing Rucker stuff. I mean, that's, you know what college football does? It unites a university, it unites a, a community, it unites alumni, it unites a state. Lock all eyes on Leonte Carew. Hopefully the injury not too severe. Scarlet Knights still with a pulse. Oh my. Thank you, Rick. Mark D'Antonio always super creative in the way that he choreographs things. You know, those white gloves and those red jerseys kind of stick out. Placed on the field by Carlton Agadosi. Agadosi, nine catches on the year, as opposed to Leonte Carew, who has nine touchdowns on the year. Pennsylvania. It would be a real nice road win. And it doesn't get any easier after this week. They got Ohio State next week in Piscataway. 
Tons of time looking for Agadosi. Agadosi, his first catch of the day. He's a big, tall receiver at 6'6. And the 25 point lead dissolved as well. Rutgers playing without Leontay Carew, who left after scoring a touchdown. That Carew is in the locker room. A touchdown, and Rutgers takes the lead. Should they get the extra point? Another gaping hole for... Paul James in. Rutgers take a chance with a shot down the field on third and short. Oh, they just want that first down. They got it. Playing without Leontay Carew. Carew, a huge day with three touchdowns, but in all three timeouts. Indiana, they had to use one, so they have two. Rutgers has converted their last four third downs. Going to eat up a little clock, but get the ball in the end zone. Laviano in no hurry. Play action. Closing in on the two-minute mark. We're now tied at 52. Third and six. Five-man rush. Laviano, pressure situation, put the ball right on the money, stop route. Impressive. And on the outskirts of field goal range. They're going to have to get significantly closer before they can realistically think about it. Second, Indiana has played a cover two. That means they only got seven men committed to the run. Third down and four. The placement for Leonte Carew has been terrific. Yeah, I would understand. you want the clock continue to move? Well, that and plus, you, if you needed, if you wanted to stop it, use your timeouts. Ask me a question. If I was there, I'd take a look at my kicker. And if he's up standing next to me, he wants to go in there. I'm going to get hold of those offensive lines.